This week's reflection is given by Archbishop Douglas Hambidge. It's getting close to Christmas, so I thought I'd reflect on Christmas a bit. Maybe reminisce. That's what, what old folk do. That's what I do a lot. And looking back to a particular Christmas that I want to tell you about, I was in the army stationed in Israel. Palestine it was then. This was 1947. And it was getting towards Christmas. Our platoon officer was a very interesting person. He belonged to a group called Plymouth Brethren, a very right-wing conservative group of, of Christian people. They had no churches. Uh, they met in halls. They had no clergy. They were all expected to be able to preach and so on. He, he, I think he treated me as a kind of specimen because he'd never met a live Anglican before. He used to ask odd questions. However, that's another story. But meanwhile, in Palestine at that time, all the biblical sites were closed. We didn't go, we weren't allowed to go near them. They were closed because of the conflict between Jews and Arabs and British soldiers. And so I was quite surprised when one day, Bob, that was the officer, I never called him Bob, not when he could hear me, but he was Bob, came and said, would I like to go to Bethlehem on Christmas Eve with him? Well, I didn't need to think about it. And so sure enough, about four or five of us went with him up to Bethlehem for Christmas Eve. And it was pretty exciting. Where else would you choose to be on that particular night? The interesting thing was we walked around together. Now, the, you may not know this, but in the army, the officers and other ranks tend not to mingle. And there we were, Bob and I, walking along together, chatting. It was interesting. We went to a, an area called the Field of the Shepherds. I have no idea whether it was the Field of the Shepherds, but there it is. We sang carols there. Crowds and crowds of people. Soldiers, civilians, all sorts of people. We wandered up and down the streets. We had a cup of very, very sweet tea from one of the vendors. All around us, Jews and Arabs and British soldiers and civilians mingling. Very interesting. No fighting. You see, the Jews and the Arabs, <laughs> they didn't get along. You can't blame them. It's Abraham's fault way back. And their only common bond was that they hated the British. <laughs> that bound them together. So we, that was surprising that we could mingle shoulder to shoulder with Jews, Arabs, and officers and other ranks all together. Around about midnight, we went into a church. And it was an interesting service. I have, I have no idea what the language was. It was a Eucharist. And I noticed all kinds of people were there. Not just, certainly not just Anglicans, and I suspect not just Catholics, not just Plymouth Brethren, that's for sure. But there were obviously people who liked to raise their arms when they're singing. Um, there were other people who were very quiet. It was a mixed collection. Just to, I suspect just about every denomination you can imagine. We had this service. We came out. We went back to our camp. You know, as I reflected on that over the years, I realized here we were, Officers and other ranks, socially distant, getting together. Here we were, Jews and Arabs and Brits, very distant politically, getting together. And then in the church, denominations together, worshipping. I thought, you know, that really is what Christmas is about little town of Bethlehem taught me that story and taught me that lesson that evening. <laughs>